it's never been easier to create electrodes than through the Visi module for electrode. So in here, all I'm just going to do is pick, simply pick the faces of the rib I'm trying to create an electrode off of. You can see I can select specifically the color of that rib, choose the direction, and choose the collision body. What the electrode command will do is automatically create the cavity. I could choose to do this as a vertical or a solid block and allow it to create an extension for however high I want this to be. So as you can see, increasing decreasing the height allows me to change those. I can also mark edges as relevant, do a transition, uh, mark the contact faces as a unique color. As you can see, here is my unique color here. So as soon as I'm done with that, I can go and confirm and move on to electrode stock. So within stock, this allows me to actually create the raw stock body for the electrode itself. So let's just say my block is a one by one by two inch block. So I can input these values and it automatically calculates those values in. I can also load in a holder from a default library that's pre-built into the Visi software. Let's place that holder at the center of this electrode here. And when I put a holder in, I can actually use a holder reference, which creates a work plane automatically at the feet of the holder. So here's a step where I'm creating a work plane, that which would be used later. Once I've created the electrode, I'm ready to create it into a project. This project could be used for all the electrodes that are associated to this specific block. So it creates a long list of different electrodes, automatically creates a piece, and it automatically creates a electrode project where all the electrodes will be stored in. So if I hit OK, I'm just going to start picking the electrodes, and this will automatically create a new list or a new project of the electrodes themselves. So within this area, I can actually show process coordinates to show where it's going to burn, where it's going to start, and I can also export out reports and many other things. So this is allowing me to export out an HTML report, great for printing, to look at side by side at the sinker. So from this step, I can also within the Electro Manager, utilize Electro Machining. If I have the machine package with my electrode seat, I can create projects in here, create the stock automatically, have a project name, create work planes, and be able to load in my machines, tool cribs, and so on. So I'm going to select a machine, select my tool crib, and once I do this, I can then apply whatever kind of offsets I want for my cam setup, as well as any kind of stock offsets if I choose to as well. So if I want positive stock where I force the system to create or take out material on top, I can do that. So I can use different template files for different things. I can use this template file even though it's a different size block that's intended for, and it will automatically load in the operations. So as you can see, if I go to Cam Navigator, you can see I have a couple roughing operations and a raster operation to finish this electrode. I did this just a matter of a few clicks and basically I could repeat this process for any other electrodes I have in my project. Seeing the stock from the dynamic incremental mesh that I created off of this, you can see how fine those lines are, meaning we're getting closer to a finishing operation. And this is looking at it without the outlines. Once I am satisfied with the machining operations, I can then go into post-processor and run post-processor. I will choose the post setting that I have set up and then basically save the post. So this gives me all my G code that's ready to go for this electro to be cut. So from start to finish, it took a matter of a few clicks to be able to create all of my machining.